Good morning. I'm going to bring you a shopping video today. I just pulled up at a Lowe's big box store. I had to come run and do a few errands. So this was the only big box store in the area. So just this one today, unfortunately, it'll be a nice little short shopping trip for you, but I am very excited to go in and see what they have. I love coming to this Lowe's. So yeah, let's head on in. I just got outside to the garden center and there's not a whole lot here. It's actually pretty bare out here because uh, it's not spring yet, but they do have a couple carts of plants right here and a few hanging over there that I'm going to show you. The maranta here was immediately catching my eye, the lemon lime maranta. This is a mistletoe cactus. This actually looks kind of cool. Oh, that is so unique. Have you guys heard of a mistletoe cactus? I feel like I've never heard of one. I wonder if this is pet friendly. That's the tag there, trailing mistletoe cactus. That's actually really cute. I don't know why I like that so much. Uh, it's gonna tempt me. We have a sweat plant. Does that say sweat plant? Never heard of that. And here is a lemon button fern. That's actually pretty big for a fern. There is a arrowhead syngonium here. And what is this one? Oh, teddy bear vine. There's some calatheas here. I actually like this pot. It must be a new from Costa Farms Wick and Grow. Here's the little water meter here. It's a really cute pot. I wonder how much these are going for. Oh, they're $20, 19 We have a golden pothos. We have a variegated lipstick. And then here's the bilobata. It's actually labeled bilobata. I love that you can find Hoyas here at the big box store. Here's another lemon button fern down here. Some Raven ZZs. Look at that one, that leaf here, stock. <laughs> very pretty. On the bottom there's some more Calathea and there's another Lemon Lime Maranta. I don't know why this is uh, talking to me for some reason. I have no idea why. I don't have any room for that but it's very beautiful. And then back around on this side here's a Caladium or not a uh, Xanthosoma is the name of that one. More Raven ZZs, another lipstick plant. There's lots of these guys down here. And here's a couple, like four or five dollar plants. We have a Petonia, Dracaena, here's the Diffenbachia down there. I immediately see this uh, lemon lime philodendron, the heart leaf. That's so cute. This one is $16.98 since they increased their prices by a dollar. Here's another Bilobata here, another Hoya. Got lots of Sagos. Some type of fern. There's a strawberry begonia there. And another Syngonium. Not much up top, but they do have this Peperomia serpens that actually looks really cute. Ugh. I love the little heart-shaped leaves. That's really adorable. I'm not good with Peperomia though. That's the name of it, Peperomia Serpens. And on the bottom, we have mostly just Aglionemas down here. Here's a teddy bear vine. And then there's some more like tiny plants. They have lots of pots here on display. We have some big ones here. And then on this side, we have some more big ones and some smaller ones over there. Hanging up here, we have um, some Hartley philodendron, just the regular green here. There's that one, and then there's one back there. Here's also a tiny mistletoe cactus, the one that I was looking at over there. This one is 16, so I feel like you might as well get the big one because you get more, you know? It's really cute though. <laughs> it looks like, I don't know, 
I just think it's so cute. And then this is a, a dragon's tongue here. We have a couple of Tradescantia baskets. This is a burgundy, I guess, a uh, Zabrina. This one here is $16.98. And there's one more in the back. Uh, there's another like heart leaf there in the back. Um, what else is here? This is a Polynesian ivy. Oh wow, look how big this one is. 2098. Oh, a crimson uh, princess here, Hoya. Oh gosh, that's heavy. That is a really full Hoya basket. It's probably dripping wet though. It feels really heavy. That's pretty much it for out here. There's some ferns and some golden pothos, a few outside plants. And they have this end cap here, I guess, clearance succulents from over the holiday because they have the reindeer display and everything. So uh, everything here is 50% off. So this would be like $15 instead of 30. There's these. These would be like, what, six, a little over $6, $6.50 maybe, $5. And there's some other smaller ones there. I haven't been inside yet, so let's go take a look. I feel like they rearranged in here. They did rearrange in here. Ooh. I wanted to start here. Uh, I saw these pots in the other store. Uh, was it last month? I love the cute new pots. We have some Dracaena. There's a ponytail palm. Some Syngonium. There's several of those. And then we have some, I believe this is a Peperomia, is it? Yes, it is, it's a Peperomia. And they have several of these. They look like they're all the same. They have some cute staghorn ferns in this setup. It's only $23, it's actually not bad. Looks like it's thirsty though. There's not much hanging up on this side at all. Just some ferns and another one of those. Um, ivy things, Polynesian ivy. And this row here, I see a huge Monstera adansoniae. That is a nice size. We have this plant here. I forget the name of it. Uh, someone mentioned it in the last shopping video. Um, unless they have it labeled, let's see. Um, it's $23. No, it just says assorted foliage. <laughs> Bird's nest ferns. Oh, here's an alocasia. This one looks like Ivory Coast. It's a little sad though. Looks like it may have something fungal-ish going on. Oh, that's an interesting fern. That is unique. And then there's a beautiful calathea back there. Let me take this one out. Love her. And then on the bottom, there's just some cocodama and succulents in there. And on the back, it looks like we have uh, on the bottom the same plants. And in the middle here, we have a staghorn fern. We have a uh, neon philodendron. This one is $22.98. Oh, here's a monster Peru. I didn't see that one back there. This one's huge. And we have one of these plants as well. Uh, this was in the last shopping video I did. Now I forget the name of it. Was it one that I was familiar with, but it's pretty. And here on the top, we have a Calathea. Lots of ferns. There's one of those plants there. Up top, I see a Cebu Blue hanging here in the middle for $15. So that's not bad. There's a Hartley Philodendron and then just some more ferns. And then on this side, I see a Neon Pothos, a couple of those. A Hartleaf, I see a Maranta. 
This one is the Kershiovana rabbit tracks. And then we have some golden pothos there on the bottom. We have lots of orchids back here on there. This one's really cute. I love the flowers. Flowers on that one's really pretty. This is in the Kokodama. It is, let's see, 22, 21, 98. This is beautiful. And we have some African violets here as well. Looks like this section is just mostly the smaller plants. Some pink photonias. Here's some little rabbit foots fern here. Oh, I see possibly a manjula back here. Oh. It does say manjula. Yeah, it's a manjula. So that is $7.98 for that guy. That ivy is really pretty. We have Diffenbachia. We have some begonia down here. Some more ivy. And then up top, I'm not really seeing a whole lot that's new. Kind of the same that was outside. Beautiful staghorn ferns. They're only $22. I really like the wooden box here. I want to do a different setup for mine. Mine's on a cedar plank, but I really like the look of that. This one's really pretty too. I love how mature these uh, leaves are. So cool. Uh, more small plants and here's another Hoya crimson. A princess here. A little pineapple plant down there. Uh, let's see what's on this side. Some Diffenbachia, Golden Pothos, Calathea, Aglionemas, Peace Lilies. I have some Fetonia baskets up top. A Hartley Philodendron. And on this side, I'm not really seeing anything new. Kind of the same plants scattered throughout. Here in the middle, there's some big, huge peace lilies. Look how big those are. Beautiful aglionemas here in the middle. Lots of beautiful orchids. Wow, these ones here on the end are huge. Look how tall these are. I don't think I've ever seen orchid leaves that big before. I took one down so you could see how mature it is. Like these leaves on this orchid are humongous. That is a big orchid. It's only $23 too. We have a section here in the middle with lots of big plants. And here's some trending tropicals. We have peperomia here, some Baltic blue. And Raphidophora Hayai, Monstera Peru, and Diffenbachia. And there's some ponytail palms there in the middle. And then more Diffenbachia. We have some Birds of Paradise back there. Beautiful Vanda Orchid. The blooms are so pretty. Some more orchids here on this cart. And Bromeliads. There is some that have a few different plants in there. On this cart, there's another one of those mistletoe cactus there. It's so pretty. And on the bottom, there's more ferns, goldens. There's some bird's nest uh, ferns in the back. Another lipstick plant. We have some peace lilies here that are blooming. Uh, more peace lilies and some snake plants. On this cart, there's some calathea up top and yeah, just more ferns, golden snake plants. It's a cute little begonia there. It's pretty.
I just got back to my car. I feel like I'm going to have to start filming in the evenings, maybe. I don't know. It's, it was only 930, so I felt like it was pretty early, but there was just, there was a lot of racket going on in the store, banging and everything, and there's lots of people around today, too, so I don't know. Maybe I'll have to, like, change up my time it's, to come film. <laughs> um, I didn't really see anything else. There was a section at checkout that had some of the same plants. I did get a couple bags of the sphagnum moss and they changed their packaging. This is the kind that I normally get by Better Grow. It's their long fiber sphagnum moss. So the packaging just looks a little different now. So that's interesting. So I got a couple bags of those because I have some more pole extensions to do. And yeah, that's it. I have a couple more stops like Aaron Wise to finish up and then I'm going to head home and film another video. But it was nice to get out at least. I feel like it's therapeutic to do this for me every couple of weeks to just get out and browse. I don't know. <laughs> they didn't have as much here as I thought, but they did change up their display, which was kind of cool, I guess. So hopefully as it creeps closer to spring, they'll be getting more, uh, more stuff in. The outside was still pretty bare. Uh, here. Uh, we do have some cold snaps all throughout March. So it's like mid-February right now. So uh, yeah, we probably have another month, six to eight weeks before we start getting a lot more plants in. <laughs> At least that's what I feel like. But I really hope you enjoyed this little quick shopping trip with me. I will take you probably back to the other side of town next time. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon.